We're going to start carving the bench. The first thing we need to do is we need to start drawing curves on the bench to transition the top and the legs. So what I do is I've made my own drawing bow. So I took an eighth inch piece of maple. I drilled a hole in the one end and put some copper wire through there. On the other end, I just have two notches and a hole. So basically, I can tighten the copper like this so the bow flexes and then I can just wrap it around the ends just like that so it's nice and adjustable what we're gonna do is we're gonna start carving to meet this line and just giving some nice contour to the base and we're also going to start carving into the leg to make a nice transition between the leg and the bottom. I'm going to start carving with the extreme dish. It's pretty aggressive. I need to remove a lot of material <clears throat> so that's what I want to use. If I need to use the original coating which is less aggressive I will but I'll start with this and just see how it works. So I just carved out the side and the end. It's pretty rough right now. We're going to go over it with the sander, but this gets the basic shape down. So you can see it's a little bit wavy. That's okay. The sander will take that out. So we're going to do that to the other end and the other side. Just one other note, part way through grinding I decided to take my drawing bow and put a curve on the bottom side normally I just kind of eyeball it but I felt like maybe I'd do a little bit better job if I had a line there so so at this point we're going to be focusing on blending the leg into the top I don't really want to carve much over here and I don't want to remove a lot from here so I kind of have to get the sweep and the transition from the leg but I also don't want to go any deeper than the leg on either side so really what we have to work with is this little transition and this little transition I've switched to the original coating and this is the disc so it's flatter um, this just allows me a little more accuracy when I'm getting in here the dish is maybe a little bit too round I'd end up hitting this I probably will hit it anyway but that's okay we'll sand it out um, but what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to get in there and basically remove this and make a smooth transition. I also have a uh, Loyer Rasp. rasp. Um, I might need it, I might not, but they're really nice to use and they come in handy for getting into tight spots. But don't know if we'll need that. We'll start with the original coating disc and we'll see how we do. What I'm going to do is just get in a little bit closer with the rasp. This is kind of the difficult part to get in here, but we'll get that with a sander. Basically we just drag it up and it kind of takes away the edge. But
As you can see, I've gotten in a little bit closer. The transitions on the leg look fairly smooth. You can still see there's a bit of a lip here. That I will get with a sander. I'm going to use my RO150 with 80 grit paper. I'm just going to show you how I transition it. As you can see, I just used the RO150 to give the leg a nice transition. Just a quick comment about the sander I'm using. It's the Festool RO150. I have their new design 6 inch soft pad so this one's a little bit thicker um, it allows the sanding pad to contour to curves and I'm using 80 grit paper <laughs> 